Ella Joti, co-founder and creator of Bar Fitness, and today I have my bar mamas, Jen and Rebecca, and we're going to lead you through a bar stretch and flow. Let's take our feet nice and wide, toes to the corner of the room, roll the shoulders back, deep inhale, reach those arms up overhead, and then exhale, wrist roll down, and one more time, just like that, inhale, arms come up, and then exhale, wrist roll down, reaching forward, rounding out through the spine, rolling up through the core, connecting deep to your breath, and then rolling up one more time. Walk those feet underneath you, so heels are in line with the hips. Big inhale, arms reach up. As you exhale, take your right foot back behind you, pull those left toes towards your shin. Now, if you're mirroring me, you might be on the opposite leg, that's fine, just keep working through your stretch. Release the upper body forward, step together, roll up one vertebra at a time. And again, inhale, arms come up, and then exhale, opposite leg comes back behind you. Look for a flat spine in this position and really pull those toes in towards the shin. Release the upper body forward, step together, roll it up. We're gonna to turn to face the side wall and come down to, oh no we're not, we're not gonna do that. We're going to stretch the upper body first. So let's take the feet nice and wide, toes in the corners of the mat. That's what I love about these videos. They're casual, <laughs> a casual stretch workout. Let's take that right arm across the body, hook the left arm underneath. Rotate the palm towards the ceiling, relax those shoulders. If you want a deeper stretch, go ahead and add a small spinal twist, keeping your hips pointing forward the whole time. Nice, deep, focused breath, getting the oxygen into all of those muscles, relaxing the shoulder blades down the back. Coming to center, we're going to deepen this into an eagle pose here. So you can take your palms, um, either facing each other or back to back. We really want you to press those pumps together. Big inhale, fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, shoulder blades reach down the back. One more, just like that. Inhale, arms come up. And then exhale, gently relax. Send the heart towards the sky and the tailbone down towards the floor. Press those forearms together for the opening in the upper back muscles. Breathe four, breathe three, two, and one. Gently release. Take the right palm down the center of the spine. Elbows pull back in line with the shoulders. Chin is lifted, neck is long. Big inhale and then exhale, side bend to deepen the stretch. Feel free to modify your stretches any way that you like and listen to your body as we walk through the stretches. Come back to center. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Slight rotation through the torso. I want you to lean with the top of the head to a flat back stretch. So we're gonna hold in this flat back position. We're gonna feel a nice long stretch in the back of those legs. Hips are squared, shoulders are squared. I should be able to rest. A little cup of tea on one, two. And then take those fingertips all the way down to the floor. Beautiful. Knees can stay slightly soft. And then let's take a deep knee bend on the right side. Right side, good. Really extend into that left leg. And then bring yourself to center, and then gently pull through the spine. And do the same thing on the other arm. So take the opposite arm across the body, hook the arm underneath, and then rotate that palm towards the ceiling. Relax those shoulders. Big, deep inhale. Exhale, deepen your stretch. So always thinking about our bar posture when we're stretching. So core is engaged from the navel and towards the spine, tailbone towards the floor, ears, shoulders, hips, and stacked. Come back to center, let's find that pose. Inhale, fingertips up, and then exhale, relax the shoulder blades. And one more time. And relaxing the heart towards the sky, finding a nice high arch through the back, but firming the navel and keeping the low spine long the whole time. Inhale, and then exhale. Let's take that left palm in the center of the spine, elbows back, chin is lifted, neck is long. Inhale, lift the weight out of the hips. Exhale, find your side bend. Careful that the ribcage doesn't splay open. We want to close the ribcage over the pelvis. That'll help us activate all of the muscles in the center of the body. Come back to center. Send those arms up overhead. Spinal rotation, and then flat back. So really pressing into those heels, flattening out that torso. Breathe, feel the back of the neck lengthen, and then take the fingertips all the way down to the floor. So again, soft knees if you need to be in that spine. 
and then take a nice deep deep breath. Connecting to your breath, releasing the tension in your body, then coming back to center, feeling just a little Great. Now we're going to face that side wall. We're taking that back knee down to the floor and find a nice deep knee lunge. So the front leg is very important here. You want to be able to see those toes in front of you, and the knee should be stacked over that ankle. Let the hips drop forward and down towards the front of your mat. You can have your fingertips on the floor or on your hips. If you want even more of a challenge, take those arms and overhead biceps and like breathe. You should find a nice long stretch to the front of that back leg all the way up into the hip flexor. Stay lifted out of those hips. Excellent. And then you're going to turn that front foot out. And walk it out just a little bit. Both hands come inside of that foot. Open up through the hip. Now, if you want to take this into a deeper stretch, you can drop all the way down onto those forearms. It's up to you. Nice deep focus breath, opening up through that front hip. And then from here, we're going to send the tailbone back behind us, flexing through that front foot. So I want you to stay high on that back knee. So don't sit onto that back ankle. Stay nice and high. Find the center of your weight here as you pull those toes towards the shin. Get a nice, strong stretch through the calf and the hamstring. Flatten out that back a little bit more. Breathe forward. Three, two, are you ready? Yeah. We're going to our left side. So wherever you are today, you can hold it here if you want, or you can come down with us into a split position. So nice deep focus breath. Using those palms to hold you up if you're not all the way down. Rebecca's coming forward to really <laughs> deepen that stretch. You can also take a high arch here through the heart. Go more deep with the breath in this position. And then gently bring yourself back to center. We're going to turn to face the front, tucking the hips underneath us, sending that supporting arm and leg up overhead for a nice stretch on the side body here. Press those hips forward and drop that hip down. Breathe. Finding your breath, and then come to the opposite side. From here, I'd like you to rotate the chest towards the ceiling, lift the opposite leg off the ground, find a nice strong balance hold for four, for three, for two, all the way back to center, bringing both knees together. Let's do that same stretch on the opposite side. So taking that back leg forward, letting those hips fall forward and down. Again, option to take those arms up overhead. Let's take a hip opener here, turning that foot out, walking out to the side, then just dropping down a little bit lower into that and then from here we're going to go ahead come up find that hamstring stretch pull those toes towards us flattening out through the spine doing great malas both Jen and Rebecca are a mother of two gorgeous girls each we love them very much you're a butter <laughs> Right side split. Ladies, so coming all the way down again. You may not make it all the way down into a full split position. Nice and focus back. If the splits doesn't work for you, you can always go back to that hamstring stretch. And then coming back to center. Turning to face the front wall. Pressing those hips forward, dropping the hip down, finding that side bend. Open up through the chest. Rebecca also has her own YouTube channel that you might want to check out. It's at Be Naturally Fit by Rebecca. So once you're done this video, go ahead on over and do some of her workouts. Let's switch into the opposite side. Rotate the torso towards the ceiling. And Jen is the owner of a very new. Location. 
that's opening up in BC <laughs> in just a few months. So she's very excited to be part of the Bar Fitness family. Let's make it all the way back to center. Bring yourselves down into those knees. And that is your Bar Fitness stretching for today.